Hi! I am going to give you a story time. Today's story is about how I changed my K-pop ads. I don't think what I did did anything to change it. I still don't know how my ads changed though. But they're pretty much like everybody's ads. Like once you talk about one topic, then it starts showing up all over the place. Sometimes what I think of stuff, like it shows up. I don't even talk about some things and it just shows up in ads and I still think it's very odd. One time I asked my parents for some fried chicken and then for the next couple weeks all of my ads were fried chicken. I'm hoping that once I talk about it, my phone will keep giving me these ads. About a year or two ago, I watched a video about people emphasizing some things where they were talking about and it actually showed up in their ads and I was like, oh shoot, I should start doing this. So <laughs> back then, I used to always like yell at my phone. I would be like, XO, XO, XO! And that didn't really work. I barely got ads back then. Like sometimes I'd get the occasional NCT 127. I didn't really get XO ads very often back then then. I don't even know what happened, but my YouTube ads started changing first. I used to watch music videos in rotations. Back then, I used to get like BTS ads about their YouTube original. And let me tell you, the only reason why I found it really annoying was I kept listening to the same ad every single time. And I don't know what YouTube was thinking, but to change up the game, I had to hear it both in Korean and in English. So I would be hearing the same exact ad in just different languages. That was a very interesting month. I don't even know. But um, I love the ads. I really do. But to constantly get the same exact ad can be tiresome. And then I get like full music video ads now. So I've gotten some twice music videos, G Idol's music videos. I've got Seventeen's music videos too. Those were pretty interesting. I watched the full ads. I watched the whole entire music video to see if I can get these ads again. But they haven't yet. <laughs> and then Instagram. Instagram is a different ballgame. I don't even know how Instagram works because they give me the most random ads that I don't even know why I get those ads. And I just don't understand. Like Sometimes it's relevant. Sometimes it's like, I don't even know what the ads for. These last two months, I started getting more and more XO, K-pop related ads. I'm always constantly on K-pop. I look up K-pop every single day. For about a couple months, I used to have Google as an app on my phone just to look up XO every single day so I can get some XO based ads or at least something K-pop related every single day. But no, I didn't get ads back then and now I'm suddenly getting ads now when I don't do them. That just does not make sense to me. I don't understand the ad algorithm. I don't understand. <laughs> and then I can remember the very first EXO related ad that I got. I've never gotten an ad on YouTube about EXO. That's the sad part. I never wanted an ad so bad. It was an Instagram ad that I got. It was about Baekhyun's birthday back then. And it was, the design was of Baekhyun's SM solo station, take you home song, single beautiful ad. Now, recently, I started getting a flurry of K-pop ads. I don't know why. Maybe because we're in quarantine that I'm constantly on my phone, maybe? But that doesn't really constitute because I'm always on my phone. Now, I keep a folder full of my K-pop ads. As you can see, I have some from Baekhyun's birthday, Suho's birthday. I get stuff from Studio NNG, Lay's album. Let me show you my most recent ads. This is a sponsored one, NCT 127 ad from their newest repackage and punch music video. The next one is of Suho's birthday. And I'm trying to focus on the Instagram IDs because it's their ads. How am I getting these ads now? I, I honestly do not understand this. Like I started getting stuff related to birthdays, music videos, and it's insane. I don't know why. And hopefully I can keep having these ads. XO 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 Hopefully this teaches you a lesson to not do what I did. Because maybe it'll come to you eventually. Maybe the ads will come eventually. I don't even know what to say. One time, a couple times, I started getting an ad where it was an hour-long Korean reading of the Bible. 
I don't see Twitter ads very often, so I don't, I can't really touch up on that. I don't, I don't see the ads, the sponsored ads very often. I'm always scrolling through tweets. So yeah, I'll see you guys in another video and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a good night or day, whatever time zone you're in, whatever time you're watching this at. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.